What's up, YouTube? It's me, Casey, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm here to give you all my first impressions of Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U. Um, I've been playing this game for at least seven to six days, and I just finally, you know, wanted to give you all my overall thoughts of how I feel about this game. This is just like the first impressions that could change over time later on down the road, but this is how the game is as if right now, how I feel about this game right now. Um, first of all, the first thing that you notice when you first turn on the game are the graphics. The graphics really pop out at you. They are very vivid. They are very just bright and bold. It looks like something out of a Pixar film if that makes sense. It just really comes to life. I really like the amount of detail Nintendo made with this game. It is good to see Nintendo games in HD. You know, although this game is not 1080p, it's 720p, and it, it really looks amazing. I really like the Pixar look that Nintendo is just going for. It's not like they were trying to compare it to Pixar. <laughs> But I'm just saying that this game really looks like something out of a Pixar film. Um, as far as the controls, the controls feel very smooth. You notice it as soon as you turn on this game and start playing the first course. If, you know, which is the first course that you play in Mario Kart is Mario Kart Stadium. So once you get on there, you will notice it right away. Um... Uh, as far as the controls that I use, I don't use the gamepad. I found it to be quite annoying. Uh, I played it just for a second. I barely, <laughs> the thing is, I barely used the gamepad. All I did was play the first course, which was uh, Mario Kart Stadium. And I played it. And I never went back to the gamepad. I reverted back to my Wii U, well, Wii days when I was playing Mario Kart Wii. And I was using the nunchuck and the Wiimote. And that feels so natural to me because I can use my right hand to waggle whenever I want to do the tricks. If I wanted to do a, a trick going to the left, I just waggle to the left. If um, I wanted the trick to go right, I just waggle to the right up and down, so on and so forth. It just felt natural to me to use the Wiimote and Nunchuck. And honestly, I don't wanna have the weight in my hands of the gamepad. Um, it just doesn't feel natural to me. So I just went back to using the Wiimote and Nunchuck, which feels very good. Um, the character that I use, I first started off with Yoshi, but as soon as I completed all my races and like, I think it was 100cc. I got to unlock Roy sometime. I, I think he was the first character that I unlocked. And I started playing with Roy a lot more. Um, because of his glasses. I think he looks really cool with his shades on. You know, he's just riding all cool in there. I, I just think it's awesome. Um, I really do like Roy a lot. I've been using him. And it's actually my first time maining a heavy carter, you know. Uh, and like all of the Mario Kart games, I used, um, I've used Yoshi majority of the time because in Mario Kart Super Circuit, they had like different ranks. Like uh, Mario would be three stars for speed and three for weight. And then Luigi would be the same. And the only two that kind of would be different or Toad, who had five stars for speed and one for weight. And then Yoshi, who had four stars for speed and two for weight. And I found, like, I wanted speed, but I just wanted just a little bit more weight. You know what I'm saying? Just to balance it out. And I thought that Yoshi would be this guy that would just kind of, you know, balance things out. So since then, I would use Yoshi from Mario Kart Super Circuit. That's what I first started off. Uh, when I first started off playing Mario Kart was on the Game Boy Advance. I used him from Super Circuit to Double Dash to DS to Wii to the Nintendo 3DS and now the Nintendo Wii U but now I found the new Carter which is 
uh, Roy, but I'm thinking about going to Yoshi and I'm going to tell you about that right now as of why. The thing is, is when it comes to playing online, um, playing an online game is just a whole different ball game. You know, you're playing offline, you're you're playing against PCs, but when you're playing against the real world, man, it can get chaotic. Uh, I found it a little bit hard uh, to get in the front, and I don't know if I'm using a word correctly or using a term correctly. As far as like rubber banding, I think the term means trying to keep up with the rest of the carters. Um, I found it very hard to get back up, I, that rubber band effect to get back up to those guys. I, I felt it was kind of like, you know, one-sided. Like the first person that was in first will always be in first. Well, let me take that back. It's not always the case that the guy that's in first will always be in first, but I feel like they really have a clear advantage, with, which it should be that way. But like, it seems like the gap is so far to the point where as now, no matter how hard you try, no matter how many corners you turn, so, you know, smooth, how many times you cut, unless if you get a really good item, you can catch up to this guy. And even that, even that, even if you get that good item, you would pray and hope that you would catch up to this guy. And I, I just don't know. Like, so it, it just came back to me to the realization, you know, is it different tiers in the wheels and parts that you choose? Or do I just really suck at the game? So what I did was just try my best to play solid. You know, I played solid. I hardly even got hit any times. I was playing with Roy. And you know that heavy carters have that speed. You know, and I would hit, get hit maybe one time. And then I would get set back all the way. But even at the times that I didn't get hit, I would still have a hard time trying to catch up with the rest of the crowd, the rest of the carters, the re rest of the racers. Um, it, it was just very difficult to me. So now I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what it is. And I don't think it's really in terms of speed. Yes, you have to learn the courses and all that stuff. That's important. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, you know, um, yeah, like I said, you got to have like a certain amount of skill in order to maintain yourself or knowing how to turn or knowing when to drift. Yes, you have to have those things, but sometimes that just isn't enough. When you have a different kind of tier, when there are tiers, there are tiers and it is very noticeable, you know what I'm saying, as to who is the best and what is the worst, you know what I'm saying? And I don't have all the carports, you know, I only have 500 coins because I'm working like two jobs and I'm doing this and that. And, you know, I've been posting up uh, Ultimate Street, not Ultimate, <laughs> Ultra Street Fighter 4 videos. So, you know, I'm not just focusing on Mario Kart and I'm still playing like a little bit Fire Emblem here and there. Um, but man, like I, I, I just like get blown away by how far they have the lead. So... I started to try to mess with a couple of things, you know. I think it's dealing with tiers in this game. I really do think that the car parts have certain, there's a certain amount of tiers within a, a car parts that you have to have in order to catch up with the rest of the crowd. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but like I said, it's a certain amount of tiers of car parts in the game, whereas these car parts are just obsolete. These are the ones that you start off with, but once you start gaining a whole bunch of coins, there are certain builds that just can't be beat, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? No matter how solid you play, the person that could be playing solid, and you could be playing solid with worse parts, you're not gonna be able to beat that guy because his car is a higher tier than yours, and I think that's where the game falls in. I think the game, definitely has tears and once you realize that you will be a better carter or a racer um so that's how i feel about this game so far 
uh, as far as uh, the aspects of it. But I, I found it to be a lot of fun. Um, playing with my friends and all that stuff. And now that I'm getting into this discussion about friends and online and skill and gameplay and all that stuff, let's just talk about the online and matching yourself up with friends. This is the last thing that I want to discuss here, and I kind of have to go on a rant about this. Um, when I'm online and I'm trying to connect with my friends, you know, it's all good, you know, it, it, it's cool. You know, I'm connecting with my friends from the Gaxis chat, and I'm connecting with my newer friends uh, on their gaming website on Skype online too also as well i'm trying to connect with all of these guys online i'm trying to catch up with all of my friends so that we can all race together as you know really fun but i notice a lot that there are so many errors like even before the race you would get an error and it, it has gotten so predictable you know that these errors like that these errors occur that we can pretty much know when it's going to occur. Like if it's a sudden pause before the race starts and we have our friends in a room or somebody saying, oh, I'm going to join you guys, you know, I just got through eating this Subway sandwich and I'm about to join the race, you guys. And we're just like, oh boy, if he joins, oh boy, it's going to be an error. And I don't know what's the deal with that. I think it's the servers being overloaded. At first, the first couple of days, we all like, okay, we gave Nintendo the benefit of the doubt. But now that we've played this game for long enough, it has gotten to be an annoyance. And I started to rage over it. I started cursing at the site, and, you know, like cursing like about the game on the site. You know what I'm saying? It was, it just got ugly. You know what I'm saying? It, and I, I don't even really curse that much, but it got me to rage that badly that I cussed so hard and sweared so much. You know what I'm saying? I sweared so much about this game. And it wasn't even about the races too much. Yeah, you know, I would get upset about the races from here and there, but that wasn't the main problem of this game. The main problem of this game is the errors. And I'm hoping that Nintendo fixes it because I've heard that if a host leaves the room then everybody is pretty much screwed and then there's a communication error and it's just like what the heck or when your friends try to join from your friends list they try to join up with you you know they see you playing and then they try to join up with you and then they can't join you it's just like what the heck like why why you know why is this still going on I know that the service got hit hard on the first couple of days. And I know that Mario Kart has sold 1.2 million copies, but this is just real, getting really ridiculous. To the point where, as, you know, I was all like, dude, man, I'm going to sell this game. You know, I was joking, but I had that feeling in me. The game is really good. It's very fun, and I'm still learning about the different tiers of carts and the best builds. But as far as the online communication what the online connections that's what i meant to say the online connections are just ridiculous they're just ridiculous you know you try to host your own tournament i think those work out better than uh going on worldwide and then when you go to regional you know there's hardly any people there but like it's just crazy when you go to Worldwide and you're trying to join up with your friends or the friends try to join up in the room with you. As soon as they join, you get an error. So I was just raging about that. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. I am enjoying it a lot. It's extremely addicting. Um, yeah, the new thing called Fire Hopping, I think that is a really great thing. Um, it's kind of like um, snaking, but a more milder ap approach um if you don't know what fire hopping is just youtube it please just go youtube it but i think that fire hopping kind of you know eliminates some of the randomness even though you can't do it all the time it still 
uh, eliminate some of the randomness that goes on in Mario Kart because you 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 kind of want to have some kind of skill playing Mario Kart and no matter how much skill you got there are items in the game that just screw you over you know what I'm saying so I'm glad that fire hopping is in the game um, a little glitch that somebody found out about the game or something like that and hopefully Nintendo doesn't patch it up but as far as th this goes I'm enjoying this game a lot more than Mario Kart 7 and uh, Mario Kart Wii. This is the best Mario Kart game that I've played in a long time since Double Dash and the Nintendo DS versions, which are still my favorite versions. But once this error stuff gets ironed out and out of the way, I will say this is one of my top three best and favorite Mario Kart games of all time because of the balances that they made and the changes that they made. But with all that being said, that's all I have to pretty much say about this game. This is my first impressions. I may do an overview. You know, it's kind of like a review, but it's like my overall thoughts when I've had the game for like a couple of months or something like that. Then I will post like an overview of what I think about the game and this is my definite you know, yes, this is this is it. This is how I really feel about the game. You know, that's what that's what I'm gonna post it. But that's gonna be a couple of months from now, or maybe next month. Who knows? But as far as that, you know, this is all I have to say uh, about Mario Kart. This is my first impressions. Make sure you wanna if you want to play against us, go to the Gaxis Chat. www.gaxis Chat. Uh, GamingAccess.Weebly.com We have all gamers there for you. It will be posted down in the link description below. And I will talk to you guys later. Please continue to keep watching the videos. Peace.